What's going on YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about some delusional modern women, liberal women, and the stupid stuff they say and do. We got lots of chicks to talk about in this video. Talking garbage, acting like garbage. These women are out of control and we've got to put a stop to it. We got degeneracy in hospital wards. We got a woman freaking out about Trump supporters. We got dating. We got someone's booty hole. <laughs> but as I always say with these videos, we're not talking about all women here just the ones in this particular video but as i always say first up if you want to help me out hit the like button because i'm struggling here women out there don't do this to your face now we have a lib here talking about something and you can tell that even before they open their mouth because of the hairstyle when you see that type of hairstyle on a woman it's game over literally i'm seeing so many white people right now going on like organizer retreats and posting about their joy and how awesome it was. Honestly, I want to see more of y'all like sitting your ass at home and giving your money to black and brown people so they can do that shit. I want to see more of y'all like sitting your ass at home and giving your money to black and brown people so they can do that. So yet another race grifter here, another race hustler trying to get some money out of white people. Yeah, give us your money. I'm lazy as f. I'm a slob, but give me your money because of the color of your skin. Right? When people say this, you tell them to get the f out of your face. So go out there, get a job, you bum. This need for social media clout for validation online is crazy. Check this out. I mean, this is what social media has done to some young people. They're going to do pretty much anything to get clicks, to get likes. And this year, we don't know the details, okay? Maybe that's a dad or a grandfather or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just a random she paid to do this. Whatever it is, it displays complete degeneracy. Another modern woman here. What does it say? Uh, whenever I get overstimulated, misgendered at work, I take an unpaid break and scream. Normalize this. <laughs> Oh, God. God help us. I think this this uh, misgendering stuff, I think it's given many young people with mental issues an out. She was probably actually freaking out about this. So this guy buys a Taylor Swift guitar for $4,000 and does this. Joking. Because we don't need the wall hanger. More race baiting here. Check this one out. I just came back from the grocery store and running a couple errands. And I just want to say I am tired of the discomfort that comes from being around white people in this American environment. I'm tired of it. And I'm ready to be somewhere else. But I'm sure the reverse is also very true among many people. Considering the, the crime stats and all that, which certain groups out there are vastly overrepresented in, I'm guessing the feeling is mutual. It doesn't really matter exactly what she's talking about. It's just some, you know, race baiting, race hustling BS, trying to act like she's scared of the police or something like that. So I called 911 this morning and just the fact that I had to call them made my booty hole itch. I mean, I don't know why this woman would be telling the world about her poor hygiene, her poor grooming habits. I mean, I'm not sure what's going on there. Like this chick here, this is the one that's scared about Trump supporters. This has been around for a while. But it does show you like how bad some people have this TDS. It is destroying people's brains. I'm sitting in my car crying right now over the loss of more lives. And this is what is about to drive past me. Oh, God. I'm like shook right now. Oh, there's another one. Another one coming. There's a parade of them. I'm shaking. What is... What is wrong with people? These are human beings. These are lives. <sighs> Shuck. I don't... I, when is enough? When is enough? What is enough? When is enough? When is enough? The media has got a lot to answer for. But like I said, this was from a while ago. And it's just as bad now as it was back then. This woman here is comparing Amber Heard uh, to God. 
her scriptures tell her so. Look, what what the hell's going on here? Amber Heard is a rodent, is a gold digging, bed shitting rodent. That's what she is. Now a bit of dating action here. So we're talking here about X. Younger women these days do tend to have a lot of them. Let's check this one out. Who's the biggest ick for a guy? When he has a birthday. When he has a birthday. Yes, if he celebrates his birthday. Don't have a birthday. And as you can see, there's some of the other ones. Don't go bowling. Don't call her babe or darling. Don't swim. Don't be too good at uh, being intimate. Don't take selfies. Don't get your ears pierced. Don't drive a car. <laughs> so these are genuine things that women have said in videos. And this guy just keeps track of them all in this huge list. Okay, I mean, don't use pronouns. I mean, that that's a fair one. That's the first fair one I've seen. Don't use pronouns. Another one here about dating. Okay, let's check this one out. I think this one's about uh, polyamory. Miss Dana, I'm polyamorous and I went on six dates this week. First up was Boba with a girl I've been seeing casually but reoccurringly for a few months. Next up was pizza and beer with a new guy I met on Bumble. This place was super good. Okay, so... I'm Third on... Just my opinion. Just my opinion. How is this person getting dates at all based on that? Really? There's guys out there looking for this on a dating app. You thought, okay, yes. Yep, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. I want to contact this person and try to get a date with her. Really? Really? God help us. On the list was a date night with my husband, Eli. We went to Cheesecake Factory and had a couple drinks, some really good food, and of course, some cheesecake. Next was burgers and fries and some drinks at this. This this person here was getting dates. Like let, let that sink into your mind for a second. But back in the old days, this person would have been outcast. <laughs> and I think that would have been the best option. Right? Outcast from the dating world. You know, maybe they could get someone who's, you know, maybe genetically deficient or something. <laughs> maybe. Dinos with a guy I met on Bumble who unfortunately kind of looked like my ex-husband but not least my boyfriend oh dude oh that's the boyfriend is it okay look dude run get out of there get out of there ASAP I'm doing you a favor here man just get get the hell out <laughs> now we've got this one here what's she talking about so when I seen the hurricane hit North Carolina and Tennessee, the first thing I thought was, damn, there goes some racists. There, there we go. We got some gone. And then I just seen this video that like the area it hit is like sundown town after sundown town after sundown town. And they are just completely flattened and gone. And I was like, God's work. God's work. But I thought people on the other side didn't believe in God. I mean, pretty much everything they stand for is against God. All this LGBTQ stuff, that's against God. Yet suddenly they want to believe in God. E, they believe that she is a communist, that she is a socialist. There are these memes going around with her dressed in a mouse at tongue suit with a cap that has a hammer and sickle. So that's what you're up against right now. And, and So they're up against people telling the truth because Kamala Harris is a communist. I don't know why this woman is surprised. Her, her father was a Marxist. But as I always say, hope you're having a good day. And as I always say after that, get the peons the hell out of my stinking house.